Hello everyone! For this video, we'll be talking about Beyblade X and some of the interesting stuff with Beyblade X, like height matchups and, in particular, bits with flat versus low flat. So this video will be trying to see which one is more shit than the other. Is low flat way better than flat? Is flat way better than low flat? Is it a case-by-case -case basis? Which is crap, which is not crap? We'll be answering all of those in this video, but check out mallabase.com until the end of October. October, Big Lip Rice is 15% discounted automatically on checkout. Not only that, but for the normal non discount stuff, we have Beyblade next on our store for pre-order. So make sure to check it out. It is an option way to support the channel. I appreciate any support regardless. Alrighty, so this is our flat bit for Beyblade X. Now it has some pretty strong burst resistance because of this part here that makes it really tight on there. So basically what that means is that in battle, the tighter the bit is, the harder this is to turn. So that's pretty much a little interesting fact. It's got like a little bit of a little hole right there, like a little indent, but yeah, this is your basic flat attack bit. You know, it does the job, can do all that kind of work, but we have our friend low flat here. Now low flat is a millimeter shorter than regular flat. So there's a little bit more interesting stuff going on with this thing. For starters, there's no indent here and it's got like a little variation, like the little uh, circle thing there. So the big difference here is actually going to be that uh, flat can basically do whatever this can do, but to a greater extent for weaknesses and strengths. And we'll kind of see how that does in the video. Alrighty, now I am joined here by my mother. She will be repping the defensive combination of Night Shield 460 High Needle, just for the sake of this thing. And we have here drawn sword stock. So we're just going to do a little comparison between each of the blades and see what's the difference. <laughs> So that goes to Night Shield, already easily beating me. Not good for the video. Three tones. So you could do taller for Night Shield in the case of flat. Really, the height is going to really just be dependent on what you're up against to kind of see. But for Night Shield for this combination, yeah, uh, 380 could also work. Not 480. I actually just have hatred towards 480. I think it's shit. <laughs> now, obviously, it's not invincible. There could be rounds where it does lose, but there's just a little comparison just to kind of get the idea. So we'll do we'll do one more with drawn sword here. <laughs> I might be dead. I might be dead. Okay, well, I mean, there you go. We, we, we're pretty much already showing the example of defense. I guess. Yeah, okay, well, one every time. So with low flat, we're gonna do a little comparison now to kind of just try to see how it does. And three, two, one, two. So already the biggest difference between low flat and regular flat is aside from just height, what obviously matters with where you're hitting. The speed and power also increase, but... <laughs> so you can see for an example that it's going really nuts so Now that could work to your benefit. <laughs> but because of that, you know, better speed and power, it can sometimes work. In this case, I'm not, I'm not three times. Three times. There we go again. So that height in everything makes a difference. But the thing is with low flat is that basically everything is now like to the extreme of what it can do. Three times. So for pros and for cons. So. You could even call it like maybe a better for attack, but the thing is, is there's now a little bit more of a skill gap to it. So for drone sword, we could see it was very hard to kind of touch it, but because of the lower height with low flat, not only were we able to touch this combination, but we had more success, six, six, the, 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 successful rounds. I want to die. I, I couldn't even pronounce that. So we'll just do like a, another example. We'll do like two rounds each now. So we got Hell Scythe on flat and we'll kind of try to see how that does versus low flat. And I'm gonna basically show the cool thing about this. Three tongues shift.
And it's not like flat is completely up class or anything like that. Nothing is silly like that. Flat will obviously have some use, but I do feel like low flat is going to be where it's going to be at for most of it just because of that uh, boost for general attack power. Three tones. Nice. There is also the other thing which should be a little bit obvious that obviously since they're going a lot faster and all that stuff than regular flats, you'll obviously technically have less stamina than regular flats. Three tones. <laughs> So now with low flats here, we're going to just try to compare and see what happens. So a little bit more contact. I don't think I get this round, but what's really cool about low flat too is that you basically make the extreme line very easily, so. Why are you sure you're going to get this round? I don't think so. No, not this round. Next round. Wait. Wow. No, okay. Three times. So, better more direct contact, but I don't think low flat applies the same to everything. So I probably shouldn't have picked Hellscythe in this case. For that. Hellscythe is more a taper blade. Okay, whatever. Next up we got Wizard Arrow on 460 flat. Three times. Try it again. Three tongues. Here we have, for an example, a little wizard, little wizard arrow, little, little, little wizard arrow right here. So wizard arrow on flat. What's interesting about it is it has a lot of stamina. Three tongues. So it's not really like wizard arrow is known for some god tier attack power, but. Usually the stamina could sometimes help it out spin stuff if you wanted to try, but usually you just do taper for wizard arrow. But let us see the difference now when I slap on low flat onto this and we try to see what's the difference in the performance here. Three times two. So you can actually see because the low flat basically goes like super fast and crazy on this low line here, it allows it to actually get those KOs it wouldn't normally get. Three tones. Yeah, there you go. That's the point I'm trying to demonstrate with Hellscythe, but I forgot how Hellscythe is. So essentially, you can basically see the points that it's basically going to be boosting stuff to make it a little bit easier to kind of get that extreme finish. But like I said, there are trade-offs to this. So. Now we got regular night shield on flat. Three tongues. Like with anything, there's always gonna be like pros and cons to this stuff. Three tongues. Oh, there we go. That worked out pretty well, actually. Okay, well, three tongues. And this one, low flat. So again, you can see. A lot of speed, but not every single round you're gonna get uh, that win that you want. But that's kind of why I like about low flat too. You know, it's a, it's a little bit more like skill required, but it's better reward. So that's why I appreciate about it. Okay, three tongues. So like again, as we've seen, allows for those better chaos for the most part, generally. Dronzer S on 460 flat. Three tongues. Now Dronzer S in general does require a little bit of a higher uh, skill, strength, and precision to use. So we'll see in the example of 460 flat if I can do it in my two attempts before low flat. Three tongues. But yeah, keep in mind too, low flats benefit not only the fact that it's lower and it can make contact with those ratchets, but uh, with some of these blades, it also helps to be a little bit lower for what they're trying to hit. Because now if I try this on 460 flat, let's try to see. Low flat, three tongues. Okay, maybe, maybe not that round. Three tongues. All right, that one was pretty fairly close to like a good round. 
Yeah, sometimes for a lot of stuff like X, like X, a lot of stuff is usable. It just depends on how you want to use it. This one, probably not. Oh, never mind. There you go. Three tunes. <laughs> That one I don't think I'll, I'll get because I was not paying attention to that one. Oh, hey, never mind. Hey! Hey! Because yeah, drones are a little bit of a slow. Oh, look at that. Damn! Okay, see, even something like drones, which a lot of people don't like because they don't like putting effort into bays, trying to win a battle, but drones can even pull it off. So now we're almost nearing the end. So we'll give our next example, which is one I'm not really too fond of, but Night Shield on flat. Three to <laughs> I think Night Shield's better generally on paper, but we can just compare for the fun of it, I guess. So obviously this will vary from blade to blade, you know. Not just because something works well on one combo, it'll work well on every single combination, obviously. And I always encourage anyone watching, three, two, one, to test at home. Wow. Okay, in fairness, actually, I did do pretty good with that one. All right, well then, if I give this low flat, then low flat, this should make it even easier to win. We'll see, I guess. Three tongues. Okay, well, in fairness there, that's the other thing I forget, because with X bays, they kind of jump when they kind of go through that line. So for bays that have gaps, that's not really a good thing, because if you jump and you hit them really fast, your ratchet will burst. So I guess there's another thing I almost forgot to mention if I didn't already. Three tongues. There you go. Okay, you kind of get the idea. The final one, which is going to be a little bit easy to do, because it's just Sharkage. Sharkage is already pretty good on its own, but we're going to just do regular flat versus low flat for a quick example. Three tones. Shit. Sharkage, I don't. Sharkage, I think, is just good on its own. I don't think Sharkage, I don't think Sharkage needs the example, but we'll try. Three tones. Shit. There you go. Actually, there might be a case-by-case -case basis where maybe even flat could do teams a bit better than low flat. So we're gonna actually see if low flat just does it as easy or not. <laughs> uh, you came back from more. I know, I wanted to see if I could win, but I guess not. Okay, final one. Oh. Three tins. <laughs> Shit. So. There you go. So between low flat and flat right now, is there one that's particularly overall better than the other? Not necessarily. There are pros and cons that I've already listed. With low flat, it just requires a little bit more work than regular flat, but you get more benefits overall for battles to score more points. The thing is when you're launching, now we're gonna zoom out just a bit. Uh, I've been kind of just doing it flat and usually I can get lucky and just go around and get uh, kind of like, my speed around, but not every time you're gonna get that uh, sort of luck. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll try to, when I'm launching it, I'll shove it to the other side, so then after it can already do it. But this depends on what side you're on. If you're on that side, you know, you have to just make adjustments. But aside from that, you're basically your pros here is greater speed and attack power. It really just comes down to the fact that I think low flat's more of the extreme of a uh, flat. It, like, it, it, if flat's really shit in one department, low flat's probably gonna be around that same ballpark, maybe it needs a bit more. So, for final thoughts, is there 100% this is better than that? No, not really. Like for most things in X, this is gonna be a case-by-case -case basis, but you can essentially see what are the benefits if I wanna use low flat, what are the benefits if I wanna use regular flat. If you want, uh, more extreme ways to kill your opponent in fast fashion, you've got this. If you want to do that with a little bit less risk, I guess you could do this. And this kind of just ignoring the talk of the uh, taper since I don't really want to go into that uh, for this video, but maybe we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But that's kind of it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I may do more of these videos in the future, as I've already mentioned. Maybe we'll do flat versus taper all that time. Maybe we'll do a little comparison, or maybe we'll just save that for a balanced video. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and bye.